Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing shock removal and I'm prepping to do to get rid of this rear end and I'm building another one on the side of my house here. I'm building a 342 torsion, but I'm taking the shocks off will be my first step to removing the rear end. And a lot of people don't know how to do this, so I figured, hey, while I'm doing it, I'm just going to make a quick video. Well, I made a video prior and I have a Milwaukee half inch uh, torque, torque wrench and um, it was just spinning, the bolt was rusty. Well, I had to pause the video and go get another tool. I went and got the, the, the mid-torque impact and the bolt snapped. No biggie, because I'm throwing these shocks out. Here's the shocks, the factories. Um, you can see they're rusty, it just snapped, uh, the heat. Here's gonna be my replacements. These are 82 to O2 strange single adjustables. Um, I'm removing the rear end. I got a Borla exhaust too. I'm pulling out the SLP exhaust right there and maybe possibly putting the Borla tips with the pipes on the back for now. Um, well, anyway, let me show you up here. You hit these up here with an impact. If they break, it's no issue. And then you hit the bottom under here. I used a 7 8 and impact right there in the bottom of the rear end. You see that bolt hole you can see through. And the one over there, you can hit it from the back behind this tire. It's relatively easy. Do the top first. That way the bottom keeps the top from spinning. And then come down and hit the bottom and just pull it out. Um, don't undo the bottom and then do the top or you're going to have to get somebody to hold it or something stupid. It's always best to do the top first. So for the rest of the day here, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put the torsion in, change the seals on the torsion, regrease the bearings, axles, put it all back together, make sure everything's jammed up jelly tight. Put this cover back on the other one because I just finished painting the other one. I didn't want to mess up the diff cover that I got for the other one and toss her on here and see if I can get her going, put fluid in it and get her going. This was my last thing, but I got uh, some special things coming up with this car. I decided if the rear end was bad, I was gonna throw everything out so I, I, at it. So I'm going all up on it and I'm gonna throw the torque arm, the uh, three point, uh, three point subframe connectors, the lower connectors,